A Labor candidate has been forced to make an embarrassing apology over deceptive leaflets in a key southern seat. The incident prompting renewed accusations of dirty tricks and also wrong-footing the Premier on the campaign trail. The Premier wants a fair fight. We will be playing clean and fair. But there's something rotten in the seat of Raynell. Labor's candidate's been delivering personally signed Sorry I Missed You leaflets around the electorate, but signed by whom? I have a huge team of enthusiastic volunteers. I have asked my volunteers to let people know if we've missed them. The Liberals say there's several different versions of Miss Hildyard's handwriting. Clearly uh, the electors in that particular electorate uh, are being deceived or misled. I've caused confusion to the people of Raynell. I wholeheartedly apologise for that. The Premier caught on the hop. I, I don't know what your point is. I haven't seen the documents and I'm not going to comment on... It's right there in front of you. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to comment on something that's just been stuck in front of my nose. It's the last thing Jay Weatherall needed, though, already behind in the polls and with the memory of Labor's dodgy how-to-vote card fiasco still fresh in the minds of many voters. Last election day, voters in Mawson were handed Labor leaflets emblazoned family first. The Labor government need to be very careful that there will not be huge public backlash if they again play a dirty tricks campaign. Another blast from the past for Stephen Marshall, taken to task by former Speaker Peter Lewis, the independent who anointed Mike Rann Premier 12 years ago. There are things that... Uh... If you look back on them, you could have done them differently. If you were holding the balance of power now, if you were still there, who would you choose out of Jay Weatherall or Stephen Marshall? It's not even a question. It's, an, it's a lay down Mazair for Marshall. <laughs> uh, look, uh, I, I, he's not in the parliament uh, and uh, I'm, I'm pleased that I won't have to be uh, uh, counting on uh, his vote to form government. But no hard feelings from the man he ousted. Oh, no, it's sort of... Uh, History looks after itself over a period of time, so uh, um, that all good. Tom Richardson, Nine News.